Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me in Grand Theft Auto V as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. I'm RJ. Today we have GMNE joining up. What's happening, bro? Hi, RJ. I'm really, really happy to be again with you on the channel and today to talk about something really, really, really big. Yeah, definitely some big news, guys. We have to give a special shout out to the Guru team as they were able to spawn the elusive alien crash site. The same crash site that we've been looking at. Of course, we just talked to GMNE not too long ago, comparing the two UFOs that are missing from the game. You have the damn ship and the crashed UFO. Well, that crashed UFO is part of this crash site, along with the alien egg, apparently some tanks. Some pretty weird stuff, guys. We're going to show that off. We have to break it down because I have to say, a lot of people have been hitting me up, telling me that Wizzle has solved the motherfucking Chiliad mystery. Guys, that is not the case. In fact, we still don't know the trigger for this crash site at all. It's merely pretty much just modded in. They, they kind of found out the, uh, I guess, what it looks like and the requirements to get it to spawn. Unfortunately, we don't know the exact trigger or if there's more involved, guys. So we're going to talk about all of that. We really need to update things. I mean, Giamatti, when you first saw this, I know you were kind of shocked. You hit me up pretty quickly. Uh, there's a lot to talk about with this supposed crash site. I was pretty shocked. I mean, I, I wrote you immediately when I saw those 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 pictures. When I see the, the footage, it was like, what the fuck? And I was kind of not really not really happy because it came in my mind to say, what is just a supply mission? It cannot be. Yeah, that's the part that really doesn't add up. Of course, many of us want this thing to be in single player. This would be the ultimate letdown if it's in GTA Online. So first of all, just this scene in particular, really nothing too special about it. Like I said, there's a couple things we have to break down. To be honest with you guys, it looks fake as hell. Uh, it is not a fake video, but it looks fake. That's the weird part. But you have the UFO in the dirt there, so we speculated it was going to be partially underground. Looks like we were right about that if this turns out to be what Rockstar is doing here. And then you have these weird aliens that spawn in two random tanks uh you know a military vehicle just kind of stuck there but i don't see any military members really around you think that there would be some more soldiers some more more activity here gmny yeah exactly exactly i totally agree with you and even with the aliens when you see the way that they spawn and they they go it's something they are kind of glitch it's it's really strange and the fact that it's near the military base, and you just can come like this, collect the heck, you just have to kill three aliens, and then you can you can just go like this. You're near a military base, and it's a UFO crash site. So. Yeah, by the way, guys, we do have Giamani feeding in live via satellite. He's uh, representing the French Chiliad mystery community. This is huge, guys, so we definitely have to get you know the massive communities all together to figure out the trigger. Now, we are hoping it's on the 4th of July, and I really think that this might be just a piece of the puzzle. It could be a giant UFO attack on San Andreas, Los Santos, of course, and maybe this is just some of the aftermath, because at this point, just driving up and seeing this doesn't really seem too special. I don't really think we would be, uh, you know, we would forget about this basically as soon as we finished it. it it's a UFO, big deal. So there's a look at the alien egg. Uh, GMN, you pointed out to me, we kind of expected this egg to be more green. I know it changes up based on the lights, but this one seems to almost be an albino white version of the egg. Yeah, it should be kind of a uh, metal color or something like this. And like you said, normally uh, the alien egg, when, when it's dark at night time or when, when it's uh, thunder weather, the alien egg is growing kind of green color. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit off here. If you guys watch the video, just notice how the aliens, when they spawn in, they're a little bit underground. There's no red dots. Uh, there's no markers of enemies. Like we mentioned, it's just aliens, and they just kind of disappear and reappear right away, looking very jank. Uh, now, the uh, data miners, they are saying that they're trying to force everything in, so I'm sure that's why it looks very glitchy. But once again, I just hope that if this is the true crash site, there's more to it because this seems kind of lackluster. I guess it would be kind of cool to see the uh, UFO for the first time in online mode. But if this was all that was here, 
Giamani? I don't know, man. I think people would be kind of uh, disappointed. Of course. And I, I guess we will be also really disappointed because after four years now, just to have a supply mission, that's all what Workstar will give it to us. That's it. That was the mystery. No, it can be. A lot of people buy, buy that game just for the mystery. If, if there is no mystery and everything is about the supply mission, Rockstar puts a lot, a lot, a lot of fans. They would get some serious backlash. Yeah. I do want to give a special shout out to Trippy Renee, who is still holding out hope that it could be in single player. I know a lot of these clues seem to be pointing towards GTA Online, maybe even having to collect 1,000 or chili out of something in online. There's the aliens spawning in with the tanks in the background. There's another alien you can see on the right. Looks like it's actually already in. And if you watch the footage, it doesn't really seem like it takes too many shots to get rid of them. Once again, I'm sure everything's not forced all the way in, as they say. But, uh, you know, considering you have the alien attack that Michael has to deal with, you would think it would be a lot more troublesome than what it seems to be here, which is pretty easy looking. No reinforcements, tanks, but nobody driving the tanks. There's the scientist that was spoken about, but they look like they're already dead. It can be just like this. Something is wrong there. Once again, guys, this is an important video because this does show that the crash scene is there, but so many people have been hitting both of us up saying, hey, the UFO crash scene has been solved. No, it is not solved. This is just hypothetically kind of what it looks like. You know, they're forcing it to be spawned, but we don't know what the trigger is. And to be honest with you guys, I think that the trigger could be the biggest part of this secret. Who cares about collecting the stuff on the bottom when you can actually shoot the UFO out of the sky yourself? And I really hope it's part of something much bigger, the UFO war in online. Because just doing this in online, nobody really cares. You would forget it just after you finished it. But having an entire war to go at with your friends, you know, everybody's trying to destroy the UFOs and aliens together. That would be an epic moment in the UFO and maybe even the Chiliad mystery. So there you heard the new song that seems to be, I guess just for this part, maybe it'll be an overall theme for the UFO attacks, but that's pretty cool. And another thing that stood out to me, GMNE, is the Dibs gaming-like lightning weather that's going on. I mean, we've been speculating if that's going to be part of the trigger. It doesn't seem like that would be easy to activate in online mode. Trigger the weather in, one, in online mode would be really, really, really difficult. Really. Because I guess, yeah, even in story mode, we have some trigger to make, to make rain. But in online, we don't have any, meaning it will be really random. It would. I don't know how that would work. I'm guessing when the UFOs show up, that's probably when it starts lightning, right? Yeah, is that what I guess? Is that, or just at the beginning of the mission, like for example, if you remember in story mode with Trevor, when you have to go back in Los Santos, when you have to go in, in Los Santos at the first time, you go at the lost camp. When you leave Trevor's uh, house in Sandy Shore, it will always begin to thunder at that moment. Always, always, always. Hmm. So maybe when you if it's a supply mission or another mission, maybe when the mission will begin, it will automati automatically rain. Interesting. That's a good point, GMNE. Let us know what you guys think. Here's the crash site. Definitely watch the video if you haven't seen it already, guys. Once again, this has not been solved. Wizzle did not solve the Chiliad mystery, but he did post up uh, the footage of the Guru's, uh, you know, the Guru's gameplay of the actual alien crash site special thanks to them and all their hard work but once again guys we still do not know the trigger you can mod it in and do all that stuff by using the game code but it's the trigger that is the real thing that needs to be discovered exactly that's what we need now is to find this trigger to find how we can make it spawn and i totally agree with you because i i also got a lot of tweets youtube a little bit we're saying check that video from Weasel, he fucking solved the mystery, it's done. So I would like to say also, no guys, it's not done. Weasel didn't solve the mystery, everything is going on. Once again, let us know what you think in the comments section below. This is pretty crazy stuff. And don't forget, we have a huge event going down on the 4th of July. 
even Giamenti made sure to free up his schedule so that way he can hang out with us on Independence Day. Hopefully we can blow up these UFOs, Giamenti. We really hope that on 4th of July something will happen and everybody will be happy. As you said, maybe that we can blow up this, that fucking UFO <laughs> and have fun. Yes, especially if we can all hang out in GTA Online, that's going to be that much better. I'll admit, we want the GTA 5 Chiliad Mystery to come to an end with Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, but it wouldn't be so bad to solve it with all of you guys as well. Make sure to stay tuned, guys. Hit the notification button. Show love to GMNE. I'll have the link in the description to his channel. Say bonjour. And as always, my friends, make sure to stay motherfucking trippy, my friends. Keep hunting, guys.